Be an innovator. Don't be afraid to take risks. That was the motto of Timothy Gertzen's grandfather, and Timothy is following in his footsteps. He grows rice, grain sorghum, soybeans, and wheat in Wharton County. He's a fifth generation farmer, but he didn't wait around for his inheritance. He and his cousins set out on their own. I grew up watching a lot of fine examples of my dad and his brothers and my grandfather especially. We try new things. We're not afraid to try new crops. This year we're growing organic corn, never grown corn and never grown anything organically, but it seemed to be something we might want to try and get into. His decision to try organics isn't because he believes they are better than conventional crops, but because there's a market. As someone who grows rice, he knows firsthand the farmer's responsibility to feed the world. The U.S. exports 80% of its rice. So we feed a lot of people around the world. It's important domestically, we feed domestically, but we feed a lot of people around the world and goes to a lot of poor countries and we're responsible for more than just Americans. Timothy's start in farming had its challenges. He and his cousin took over a neglected farm with dilapidated irrigation wells and canals. They made improvements to the place and continue to work to make their farm as efficient as possible. Technology is a key. Auto steer on their tractors, yield mapping crops, GPS surveys, GPS leveling, even a drone. I see a huge opportunity for us to gather data. Now, I don't know exactly what data that's going to be yet. Uh, I plan on using it to scout my fields and help uh, with water control in the spring. So for now, I'm kind of exploring the possibilities to see how I can fit it into my operation. As a young farmer, it's hard to balance farm, family, and service. Both Timothy and his wife, Lindy, teach Sunday school at their church. Timothy and his dad help with Habitat for Humanity, and he's the president of the Wharton County Farm Bureau. He also serves on several rice boards and committees, helping to make sure U.S. rice is top quality. We've made a commitment to try and grow the best package quality rice. When it goes to the store, you look at it, it's in a clear package. You can see your product. You can see if there's broken grains or if there's stain or anything else or if the grains are different lengths. And people aren't going to buy that. They're going to buy the prettiest rice in the bag. Lindy is a registered nurse at a local hospital. She grew up in Orlando, Florida, so the farm life was new to her. But she thinks the decision to raise her kids on the farm is a great one. The couple tries to involve their sons, Jacob and Nathan, as much as they can. They are expecting a third son in February. I love seeing um, how much our boys love living out here and how much they love interacting with their dad, uh, how they get to see him go to work on a daily basis and, and see what he does and how much pride and passion he takes in, in what he does. Yeah,